Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial today. It's on Trapdoor Spleef. So this is a really awesome mini game where you play Spleef, but instead of blocks, you have to unlock trapdoors for players to fall down. So first of all, we are going to set the lobby. So if we go down here and do forward slash TDS set main lobby, that will set the main lobby. And once we've done this, we need to set the lobby for the specific arena by doing forward slash set lobby and then the name. So we're going to call it um, T1 like that. And then we're going to fly up to the sky in a random place. I'm just going to go over here and we are going to do forward slash TDS set spawn for the arena T1. And then we're going to move forwards a bit and set another spawn. You could obviously set as many as you want. Uh, but we're just going to set three like that, and then we're going to do four slash TDS set min players to one uh, for the arena T1 like that, and then we can do the same for max players. We could set max to three as we've set three spawns. So let's go ahead and set max to three, and then we can go ahead and do TDS help to see all of the other commands. So there is a lot you can do, similar to the uh, TNT Run plugin I covered the other day. Uh, you can set lobby bounds, spectator bounds, uh, arena bounds, but you don't have to, um, as that's just optional. Uh, but we are going to set the spectator bounds, which is going to be slightly above the arena here. So let's go ahead and do 4 slash TDS set spec bounds uh, for the arena T1. This is going to be the low bounds, we're going to fly up a bit, and this is going to be the high bounds. There we go, and that's how you set the spectator bounds. You could do the same for the lobby and the arena if you really wanted to, uh, but you don't have to. And then you can do four slash TDS set uh, author of the arena for T1, and you could just put whoever built it or whatever. Um, but that is how you set it up. I think that is everything. You could probably set it to VIP, so TDS set arena VIP T1 to true and that will only be for VIPs who have the correct permission uh, but finally we need to do TDS save arena T1 and then we can either enable it so set enabled T1 true or false depending on whether you want people to be able to play it and then we can create a sign by doing forward slash trap door on the top line and on the second line the arena name so uh, pretty straightforward and then we can right click to join the game now in here um, we have the shop uh, to give you various boosts as we do with the other plugins in the minigames library and we have classes so you can get um, knockback which is cool and then we have the leave the game button as well. On the right you can see a scoreboard which says our credit wins players and max players and we are about to start you can see the countdown in the XP bar and the chat and here we go so we have spawned in the arena there have been a huge amount of uh, trapdoors spawned as you can see um, the radius is enormous and there we go we have our knockback 3 stick which we can use to hit players off the edge or we can right click to open a group of three trapdoors and we can even walk along the edges if I'm very very careful so this makes it uh, a lot different to the normal spleef as you can still survive if every trap door is still uh, knocked down um, but you can't actually bring them back up uh, which is cool so you can just go ahead and right click trying to knock your enemies down the hole so if we do jump wrong we will fall down like this and we will obviously lose the game and be teleported to the spectator area until the game's ended and as I'm the only one there, it has ended straight away. So as you can see, we have one loss and two deaths. So that is the plugin. It's really awesome. It's free to download, and it's part of the mini games library, which is uh, a plugin you need for this plugin to run. Uh, so subscribe, like, comment, and I'll be back soon with another tutorial.